Okay, back again and see what we got. <clears throat> it's crashed again. Yep, I tried it. Um, closed OBS, opened it back up, hit start streaming, and it crashed. So, <clears throat> um, I am really running out of ideas. Let's look at my last screenshots and see what we see what I did lately. Yeah, there's where it was. I just went and I go into this to the system monitor and type OBS to make sure it's not still running, not done crashing yet. And there's, you know, where I was trying to start streaming. I'm in, in reverse, so what I really did was exit, start streaming, crash, and then that's the end of the screenshots. I'm going to leave it right there. <clears throat> well, no, don't need to have too many apps running. Close that app. Okay, so... Um, So that's, I'm surprised that, I mean, those settings have been working, but uh, that but they weren't right, you know. Um, I mean, I could keep working and raise the bit rate and stuff like that, but I don't see any benefit in that. <coughs> um, H264, H2 4.1 to 5.2. Now that is something... I haven't changed the keyframe. I can do that, but I'm pretty certain that won't make any difference. Uh, go ahead and do it while I'm thinking about it. There's no reason why not to do it. So, so I'm going to change it to zero. Zero is the default, which makes it automatic. Um, there is nothing but H.264 encoders. You can record as something else. Uh, I showed some screenshots of that, I think. In, or I made some, I don't know if I, sh now I don't even remember if I showed them, but MP4, uh, I can't remember them, I'd have to look at the screenshots. There's about five or six, but um, <clears throat> only FLV and MP4 and um, MKV do I know for sure works well on Linux, so and then there's some others, but, uh, and the audio's still at 128, okay, so, um, generate file name without a space type standard and that's still all about recording though that shouldn't really I, I just can't see that having any effect uh, that could be the one thing <clears throat> so I don't know maybe I should try that just to see what happens but because what you're recording in could be let's see I see up here it says well enforce the streaming service I think that's why it worked with those settings the way they were I think it may actually change what it streamed to what YouTube wanted. Evidently, it can see what YouTube wants, or it could be for, anyway, and uh, and then send out what YouTube wants. Um, oh, yeah, see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. And there's actually only one showing up. Well, my mics are only mono, but OBS mixes it out to stereo. Both mics are mono, so I guess maybe that's why it sees it that way. Um, back to the audio again. There's nothing out of the, you know out of the ordinary in there. Okay. <clears throat> oh yeah, that part. Downscale filter. Okay. Uh, you mean you could change that, but I don't see any thing in there that looks to me like it could possibly mess it up and that you know why uv is pretty common i know that much so i don't see the colors the color space color format i don't really remember nv12 i don't even know what that one means uh i i see the yuv and the u something uyv or whatever uh in webcams you some webcams will work with one and when, and when one will work with the other so you have to I'm, I've always had to change that with, well, I have two old webcams, and then I have the endoscope. And if you leave it on one setting and plug in a different camera, say if you're using Cheese webcam booth or something, and it's, you know, it keeps the last one you used, then uh, <clears throat> it might not work, and then you've got to go in there and change it. Uh, frame formatting, file name formatting, okay, yeah. That's for recording. Uh, stream delay. I don't have that turned on. <clears throat> Could turn it on. It'd be something if 
I have turned that on and off at different times. Surely I didn't turn that off and that caused it. <clears throat> well, it certainly can't hope to turn, hurt to turn it on. There we go. Um, because I could have, I seemed like I remember looking there and seeing it was on, and I thought, you know what, I don't really care for that. Uh, seems to make it harder to see what's, because when I want to look over at the laptop and see what's going on, I have to wait longer to see. So, um, funny thing is, I've been going through all these menus, and I don't know what I've done and what I have. So I'm going to hit cancel, and then open it back up <clears throat> and do it. Uh, just that one thing. Make sure I'm only changing one thing. So, where was that? I thought it was in the advance. Oh, it saved it anyway. Even though, oh, I guess I hit OK. I must have hit OK instead of cancel is all I can figure. If you hit apply, uh, it'll save it, and then you can move on to the other. I don't know that you would actually. Yeah, I think if you move on without hitting apply, you'll lose what you did. But I must have just hit OK out of, you know, habit. Disable hotkeys in one main window is in focus. Well, no, I wouldn't want to do that. Okay, so um, I'll just have to leave it as it is. <clears throat> okay. Um, I, like I said, I don't want to. I could just hit start streaming and see if it works and it would be uninterrupted as far as this video, but if it crashes, then I don't want to mess up my video. So um, let's go ahead and. Uh, <clears throat> go ahead and stop again and I'll then I'll try it and then I'll come back and uh, there's only one other, I mean I could try mp4 just to see I may do that and then if that doesn't help like I don't expect it to then I can try uh, thought about getting rid of all profiles and starting from scratch and but I think I'll start doing some more research before I do that so uh, or uninstall the program and reinstall it which would probably get rid of my profiles. And that would start me from scratch. And then I could import my scenes. Uh, I could still be back to that one thing. I know, I still know for a fact that all my old scenes, all my old audio inputs, uh, they all had to be in separate, different names. Now, I'm sure I did that by one at a time putting them in there, you know. Oh, I'm on the camera. Like can't my audio? You know, when I'd rename that, it renames every one of them in every scene, which actually makes the most sense to me. Uh, but when I originally put the Cam Three audio streams in there, I had to. It wouldn't let me have the same name every. And when I would go to each different scene and say add one, I would have to give it a different name. Uh, I wonder if it still does that. I can find that out. Okay, let's say we're going to add. We're on the desktop. Okay, now we want to. Completely lost here. Let's see. Yeah, we hit. Okay. Add audio capture device. Okay. Let's see what this is. I completely forgot. Properties. This is always play even what visible. Okay. So this is a VLC stream. Okay. So this is how I want it to be, but it's going to be the IP of camera one. Audio dot wave. That's how you have to do it to get a VLC audio stream from IP webcam <clears throat> in here. Okay, so I want to add, well, let's go to camera one. Well, let's go to one in desktop so that it can. I can see what I'm doing. I can copy and paste and uh, also you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so this is the IP. I'm just going to go in here to the properties just to get that IP so I can copy and paste it. Cancel, cancel. Now, we want to add one. Now we want to add, here's all the different things you could add. I, I'll just look, okay, audio capture, audio input, pulse audio, that would be from your soft system. Audio output capture color spot, source image image slideshow jack input client. I'm not running jack the audio software. You could that give you a lot of it's complicated, but it sure makes you be able to do anything under the sun. But I'm not running it. I don't need it to do what I want to do. 
and it's more complicated. Media source, scene, screen capture, text file, and that's my, in, you know, like I use those for my input, to in, incoming and outgoing text, and uh, and uh, just the background color behind them, you know, like you have to put a, somewhere I saw that, you have to have a, make it black. Well, let's see, color source. I don't know what you do with that. That's not what you do there. I don't know what you do with color source. VLC video source is what it says. And you notice there's not a VLC audio source, but that's what I'm going to have to do. And then there's video capture device. That would be a webcam. Uh, in my case, I don't have anything else. Uh, window capture composite. So that would be, like, I think that's the desktop. One of them's the desktop, and there's another one that's, oh, that's the, just the window, just a particular window, I think. And then you have to, oh, screen capture. I think that's the, de the whole desktop. But anyway, VLC video source. But we're not going to do videos. Uh, we're not going to do uh, a video. We're going to do audio. See, now there's the one that says audio cam 2. These are all my video sources. Uh, no, uh, that could, you could just pick one uh, that is, uh, this is create new, or you can do uh, add existing. Now, see, I don't have any, I've never done audio from cam 1, so it's not going to be in there. It looks like it's still got, that's the video from it right there. And then that is one of the other cams and that's the other so you can oh well no that's video oh, and that's another entry but named differently see that's a uh, 0.194 and that's 0 0.194 and I know that's cam 1 just because that happens to be labeled that way but see how they're labeled differently because that's what it used to make me do okay so what I want is just audio A U D O C A M one that's the name I'm going to give it and uh, make source visible audio cam one okay now I have to now I know I figured out recently that in the uh, <clears throat> in the um, audio you need to have it always playing or it, or it won't work it will it may work well actually it won't work at all like recently so you have to say always play and then you have to add your actual you can add files directory or or a URL this is where you get to that and then uh, I already forgot what do you do for the file extension audio.wav I believe we'll have to double check that audio.wav okay now we won't be able to test that right now because that I, that camera one is only streaming video but what I'm gonna do Okay, now where is audio cam one? Now I'm going to bring it on down to the bottom just to make sure that it doesn't want to see, you know, cam one, uh, one audio first. <clears throat> now go back to the, um, well, here it is, yeah, 194. Now it's nice actually to have the IP in there uh, so you know, it's nice in one way and, and confusing in another, but you know exactly what, I, what the IP is if you do it that way. But, uh, now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over here to, let's go into its properties again. And oh, here, here we go. Let's go into the properties of Cam 2. And yeah, audio.wave, that's all I needed to know. Okay, so I've got it right. The properties of it. Now this time I'm going to select all, copy, hit cancel, hit cancel. I'm going to, now I'm going to go over here. And instead of, now what you can do is right click and say copy and then paste it into another scene. <clears throat> but uh, I'm wondering what I'm going to, my experiment, I'm experimenting. I'm going to go back to the desktop and I'm going to say add. I'm wondering if it will tell me you're not supposed to do that. VLC video source. Um, I'm going to name it the same thing audio. M1, audio cam one. Now right here, it may it's where it used to tell me you can't. The name is already in use. There you go. That I'll bet you anything is what's wrong. <clears throat> so what I need to do is go through and delete every one of those and add them in with different names. 
And you can't just, you know what threw me off? I've already, I already like said at the beginning of all this and I, well, last week I said, um, <clears throat> Okay, now, audio cam one, and give it that, let's see. Now that makes it really, you can't read it. If it's too long, you can't read it. To desktop. Audio cam one, to desktop. So you can't just select, now see there's audio cam one in there and I could select it, but I guess I figured this out a long time ago. That's how come this part of it's in my memory. That, I guess, works for recording. I'm going to hope that I'm figuring this out again. It works for recording, but not for streaming for some reason. Uh, it's a bug, really. Okay, so let's try it this way. Audio, cam, one, two, desktop. Okay, so now there's nothing in there, and it says stop and visible, so I want it to always play. And we want, oh, we got to add. I want to add a URL. And the same same URL, though. That's fine. Okay, so now, audio cam one to desktop. <clears throat> so, but if you just rename, um, like this one, if I just rename it, it's all the same uh, one. Now I get it. Okay, see, what I did was copy and paste. Or I could have went through that whole rigmarole and said, add one of the existing ones. Well, it's that same one over and over. And like I said, uh, we're using it. It does not cause a problem. I've been using it. And, I mean, I'm not right now. I'm using the SM58. Yeah, okay. I, think I couldn't see it. And I was like, oh, no, what's going on? Oh, I know why. Because I, because I added something. So now I have to make my preview even smaller to see them all. Right now it's audio I'm working on, so I'm going to do that. Okay, <clears throat> so um, audio cam one to desktop, um, but with the same IP, 194.8080, or 8080. Okay, now let's go to, okay, yeah, let's see. Oh, okay, which one did I put it in? I'm not sure which one I put it in now. I must have done it to just like cam one or something. Oh, cam two. Thought I did it one. Oh, I'm on the wrong place. I was on Indescope. There it is. Cam one. So cam one. <coughs> audio cam one. Oh, audio cam two. I'm getting tired of done this so long now. I'm getting tired. So audio cam two. Okay, now audio cam one. I'm going to say audio cam one. How am I going to do this? Audio cam one. Let's see. Cam one and desktop is what I need, but that's going to be. I'm going to name them as to what they are. That's the only way that's going to make any sense to me. Let's see. Oh yeah, you right click and you say rename. Uh, oh, audio cam one and desktop. I think I can use that. I think that should work. Yeah, that should work. Wait, isn't that what I just named it? No, audio cam one to desktop. So that'll work, okay. All right, audio cam one, audio cam one, to desktop. Now, like I said, I can't turn it on yet because uh, I don't have, if it was on, you would already see a signal down there because it's actually on right now. I'll put a shortcut on it to turn it on and off. There it is right there. That's the top one, audio cam one, to desktop. And instead, because... Epi webcam is just streaming the video, but I'll, I'll turn on audio later. Okay, now, cam one on desktop. Um, and I'll just have to name them differently, I think. And what I can do is go take out <laughs> audio cam two and, and then go in and do this, if this works, and do this in every scene. 
So uh, we'll see. Uh, and have to just do them one at a time. I hate to go take all... Well, it's easy to copy and paste, so I can just take all those Cam 2s out, all but one of them. Yeah, that makes sense because I was I only had Audio Cam 2 in there one time and everything was working. So yeah, the copy and pasting is wonderful, but it won't... This is a, basically, I would say, a bug in there. I mean, uh, at least if it would tell you what's wrong, you know. But oddly enough, like I said, it's not wrong when you're recording. It's only, from what I, I vaguely, vaguely remember, it gives you trouble, this trouble of crashing when you're streaming. So, <clears throat> let's add it again. Now, this is Cam 2 in desktop. So, VLC. But you can't, um, you can't just add, um, the existing on Cam 2 and Desktop. You can't just add the existing because then that's the same thing as copy and pasting. So, Audio Cam 1 uh, 2 I'm going to have to do it that way. Cam 2 and if it gets too long, then I'll have to shorten it up some. Audio Cam 1 to Cam 2 and Desktop. I may have to write them all that way. I think I did something wrong here. I'm not sure what I've done. That's, that's not what I'm supposed to be looking at. Okay. So, uh... Properties. Yeah, I don't know what happened. So I'm going to remove that one. Yes, I did something wrong. I don't, I, I think I'm, I don't know what I did. Okay. Cam to and desktop. Now click add VLC video source. Okay, I was in a different screen. I clicked something else. I don't know what I clicked. Now you can just go down there and add existing. At least that's my theory right now. Okay. Audio Cam 1 to Cam 2 and Desktop. Okay. Yeah. Now start. Stop. See, I have to do that on every scene that has an audio feed that I want. That I want that, you know, lapel mic to be in from Cam 1, and it's going to be all of them. So. Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. Okay. Add URL path. Audio Wave 194. Okay. Now, and I'm like I said, I'm going to bring it on down to the bottom. Now let's look at the prof the properties again. 194.8080. Okay. So, um, now yeah, I think what I'll do. I was thinking I was going to unplug the lapel and plug it into the Cam 1 and do all that stuff, but it will actually be quicker if I take Cam 2 audio out of do the same thing on Cam 2 and see if it works. Well, wait. If it doesn't work, then I will have to go back and redo Cam 2 again. Well, i got to get those out of there, though. So what I'm thinking is, is I have the lapel plugged into Cam 2. I have it streaming and everything else, so... But it's not the way I'm going to want to do it because I need to leave Cam 2 plugged in. I need to leave Cam 2 plugged in to the power so I can have it at the, always aiming at the monitor to show you know what I'm doing when I reboot the machines and stuff. This one up here, I was going to just stop having it as far as camera goes, but just use it for audio. <coughs> so one way or the other, I have to do this all one at a time. Okay, um, but I, okay, let's go back here, okay, let's look at its properties, yeah, 
So what I'm thinking is, let's look at this one's properties. Get this one's properties. I'll do... This one I can rename. <clears throat> I can rename this one, then I have to go and delete all the rest of them. So let's do that in order to fix it, I mean. I sure hope that's what it is. Audio Cam 2 to desktop. Well, I renamed it wrong. Audio Cam 2 to desktop. Audio Cam 1 to desktop. Okay. So this one is 141. This one is 194. Okay. <clears throat> now, I'm skipping the adjust camera ones because you can't see what's going on. Uh, for now, anyway. Okay, now Cam 1 is... 194 it's com it, it's really comp this kind of thing is complicated for me okay 141 that's all good but see the name is uh, exactly what I named the other one so I'm gonna have to take it out and I'm working on the lapels I'm talking on the SM58 so it won't hurt my audio won't hurt anything okay now I want to add one VLC source. Okay. A U D O. I wish I could pay. I, the or I have to retype those every time. I can't have, you know, I can't have one thing in my. Uh, well, I could. I know how I could do it. Audio. C A M. Two. There we go. <laughs> Audio Cam 2. That could get me. I'm going to copy that. Now I'll be able to. It'll, it'll help a little bit. Audio Cam 2. 2. Cam 1. And. Desktop. Okay. And I've just learned with the audio leave them always play with the video. It seems to help uh, if you do start and stop them each time to use the default setting. It seems to help with the lag problem with the video. But with the audio, it don't get any audio if you don't let them always play. So you can't do that. Now here's my, what I'm thinking. Here's, see now each time I won't have to at least type audio cam two. All right now. And I'm going to bring it down. Bring it, it down. I like to have the, I like to have the, you know, screen capture on top, capture and then the top, video on the and next, the and then just the want some order that looks organized, order to that looks organized to me. Yeah, any longer than that, and yeah, you can't read what it says. So, so but uh, that's fine. So, cam two, audio, cam two, audio, cam two, two, cam, two, two, cam two, one, and desktop. Cam audio, desktop. cam one. Let's see. One forty one. 194. 194. Okay, now we'll do okay, scene we'll two. Um, audio cam two. Yeah, okay. It says to desktop because I renamed it up there. Okay, now, so we want to delete that. Do you want to remove it? Yes. Now we want to add one. We'll see source. This is a lot of work to see if it's going to work, so I'm not going to do them all. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to just do these, the, the three or four I've been doing here, and then we'll try starting a stream. It's actually all I'm really using right now anyway. Well, I'm using, I am using camera one, but I don't have to have lapel on every scene right this minute. <coughs> okay. But I will have to go and delete every one of them, though. Yeah, all those uh, extra... Okay, audio cam two, two, cam two, 
and desktop. Audio Cam 2, 2 Cam 2, and desktop. Yeah, I have to be very slow and methodical about this to get all this right. This is why I didn't want to uh, add. Didn't want to manually do all this. Now I'm just wanting the IP, right? <clears throat> That's the only uh, thing about having extra things in your clipboard and doing it that way is you might screw up. Okay, yeah, yeah. Audio cam two, two cam two in desktop. Audio cam one, two cam two in desktop. Okay, okay. Now, I still have to go through, and of course you won't see. Okay, audio cam two to desktop. Audio cam one to desktop. Cam stream. I'm going to just take it out right now. Uh, and yeah, audio cam two to desktop. It, yeah, you shouldn't have any that say just uh, except for in the desktop. Audio cam two to desktop. Okay, camera one, you don't want it. Camera two, you don't want it. And I'm just going to go ahead and take them out because I have to to get it to work. And. Uh, Audio cam two, two cam one and desktop. Audio cam two, two cam two and desktop. And it's tablet. Don't want that in there either. The endoscope. Yeah, I'm feeling encouraged. I sure hope this is. This is what I remember from the beginning of, that I could not do that. But I thought, well, it's recording. And then I just got to thinking, you know, I was fiddling with it. I think I spent two days fiddling with it. And I thought, you know what? Um, I'm looking through it. I've done it. I'm looking through it. Now, I won't have any audio source. Well, I won't have the lapel. I'll still have the SM58 in every one of them. Um, but I won't have the lapel in all of them until I manually put them in there. Okay. So... Um, for instance, on cam one here, I won't have it, but that's fine for right now. I want to see if I can stream. So, um, if that fixes my streaming, then I'll be really happy about that. <clears throat> and I didn't mess up anything. I only set things to defaults for, you know, what YouTube wanted and all that stuff. So... You know, that could be why my stream kept getting uh, unhealthy because I was below the minimum bit rate. I bet they upped the bit rate because they're trying to get, you know, they're doing more and more ingest on their ingest server to uh, accept 4K. So I was below the bottom of the mark there now. Okay, so um, I'm going to go. I'll probably look over it one more time and then I'll come back. I'll go ahead and start streaming. And if it works, then I'll be back. And if not, then I'll have to um, <clears throat> I'll have to work on it some more. Okay. <clears throat>